Hello, hello, YouTube. Welcome to my comic book collection video. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but I've got a new flip camera now. So, well, I don't have one. I'm borrowing it, but bleh, who cares? Um, so I'm just going to show you what I've accumulated since I started collecting comic books. Not. I also have this head cold, so I sound very much like a nerd, appropriately enough. Uh, I'll point out, you know, do a little mini review if I can. I may post this on Comic Vine if I have an inkling to do so. Anyway, it's not that very good of a collection, but it is. There are several stories that I like, um, and there actually are a couple of good collector books. They're trades, but they're not, you know, just books. So here we go. Starting off with my issues, we have, let me pull these out. In fact, let me just keep them in my magazine rack. Uh, yeah, just do it up here. As you can see, we have, start off with the stuff that's not bagged, free comic book day, Iron Man, free comic book day, Blackest Night, more of the Superman number zero, put that up there, uh, Moon Knight Saga, which is a text comic thing. Goodness. It's fallen everywhere. G.I. Joe 155 and one half. Uh, pretty good, but you know, terrorists. Not being terrorists. I like the cover, though. Uh, it says, G.I. Joe is gone, now begins the reign of Cobra. I might check out the other older comics, but anyway, here we go. Uh, Halo Hell Jumper. Yeah, pull out to see that cover. Yeah, it's number five. I have five, so I've got the other five here. I like this cover the best, I think. Let's put that back there. This one's pretty good, too. So is this one. This one's. Eh. Anyway. Ultimate Spider Man issue 10. Actually, Ultimate Comics Spider Man. This is the reboot. <laughs> With Kitty Pride on the cover, I'm, you know, not really... I haven't read the whole series, but I just, you know, I figured Ultimate Spider-Man's always been a good book to just pick up, so... It was at my grocery store, so... Uh, Daredevil, 54, I actually got this at a Goodwill. Uh, took a look at that cover there. This is really nice. I like it. Not it's good art, I guess. It's not bad. Superman 702. Superman 702, that was my brother. Uh, yeah. This is one that was actually really good, or one of these was actually really good, but I like the JMS. Wish I had gotten 700, because then I would have... Well, I'll show you later. Anyway. Brightest Day, f The Flash, number three. This is not Brightest Day, this is The Flash, it just has the Brightest Day banner up there. Um, goodness. Uh, anyway. That's pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I have the Incredibles issues 12 and I think 11. 11. Okay, this is why I wanted Superman 700. Batman 701. Let me turn it that way. Batman 700. This will be worth something someday, I'm sure. It's a good story, regardless. 699. Six ninety nine. That's a great cover right there. And uh, six ninety eight. This, these two issues, six ninety eight and six ninety nine, were really good. I liked it a lot. Makes me wonder what's going to happen with Joker. Okay, now we're getting to where I collected some of these to read. Actually, you know, kind of month to month kind of thing. As you can see, it's Batman and Robin. Oh, I missed one. Batman. Whoa. Just one second. Sorry about that jump cut. I had to kind of clean up a little bit because it was getting messy over here. Batman and Robin, number one, two, three. I'll show you the covers. Why not? Two. Actually, you should go to comicbook.com. It's one through six. Uh, put those over there. Um, yeah, Marvel. Oh, the Ultimate Spider-Man. This is one of the gems of my collection. Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, omnibus, essentially. It was a Barnes and Noble. See, Barnes & Noble books book. 
It's like the first three hardcovers of Ultimate Spider-Man. It's uh, pretty good. I, I really like Ultimate Spider-Man. Next we have JLA The Deluxe Edition Volume 1. Volume 2. Uh, I thought I'd like him more than I did. I didn't really like him. It's okay. I like street-level characters more. Oh, here's another crown jewel. The Complete Frank Miller Batman by Longmeadow Press has Year One and The Dark Knight Returns. And a little one-shot about Santa Claus, which I should probably read since it's getting close to Christmas time. As I record this, Halo hardcovers right there. Graphic novel, Uprising. Not bad. Daredevil by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen, Volume 1 through 3. Oh dear. Yeah, there's 2 and 3. Oh, handling a camera was a bad idea. Pulling these out. Okay. Wolverine. Right here. Weapon X. Wolverine. Right there. Right there. Marvel 70th Anniversary. This is actually a sampler for their 70th Anniversary. So you have Peter David Hulk's some Daredevil Electra. It starts at the 50s and 40s. Like there's some horror comics called Till Death to Us Part. Do Us Part. Here's Captain America Comics number one, I think, actually. Let me check. One and two. Uh, Captain America Comics number two. Focus. Alright, anyway. That over there. Batman, Long Halloween, and Dark Victory right here. Pretty good stories. Uh, I think I like Dark Victory more because it has more villains rather than gangsters. So, Nightfall Part 1 through 3. This reminded me a lot of Arkham Asylum, which was a great game. Uh, really like this story. JSA, Volume 1 and 2. Again, like street, I like Street Lover characters better, but, you know, whatever. It's good. Like, JLA is... Not bad, but I think this is better, actually. Green Lantern Rebirth, again. Green Lantern, not exactly a street-level character, but this, All-Star Superman, vol I don't even have the same volume, and I'm in love with this series. It's still very cosmic, not street-level at all, but he makes it a very personal story, regardless of its, you know, uh, cosmic nature. Uh, let me real quick go over here. You know, you see Lord of the Rings and... Douglas Adam. Uh, here's the color. Let me pull these out. Just one second. Okay, so as you probably saw, that was bone. Uh, the those there, the three pack of uh, trades. I just wanted to show you guys this nice piece of art by Jeff Smith, colored by. I forgot the guy's name, but he digitally colored them after they had been released for Scholastic. Um, Scholastics, uh, their graphic imprint, but yeah, there's a uh, thorn and phone bone, phony bone, smile the bone. They're fishing. There's a campfire over here. Very nice picture. That goes over there. Uh, but I've read Bone in a much heavier format. Oh, so heavy. As you can see, this is the Bone One Volume Edition. It's very big, it's very lovely, it's a great story. I recommend you read it. And uh, I think that comes to the end of Comic Books. Oh, wait, just one second. I wanted to show you guys these real quick. This we got at a used bookstore. It's Fantastic Four Marvel Age. First volume. It's kind of. It's gets worse after the first couple ones. Mm -hmm. Revenge from Below, The Incredibles Trade. I this isn't the first one, but yeah, I like Mark Wade and his way. The Flash, Greatest Stories Ever Told. My dad likes The Flash. He also likes Superman in the 60s, which hang on. W whatever. There's a comic about the marriage of Baby Lois and Baby Superman. Go figure. Uh, Calvin and Hobbes. We have several of these collections. It's just, you know, one of them. Well, uh, Pearls Before Swine, which I didn't get one. And then Prehistory of the Far Side. This is probably the best of the Far Side collections. Anyway, that's been... That's been hard to do. My collection. 
so not exact, not all of it's mine, but it's what I have access to. Uh, we also had like a real Ghost, Ghostbusters number eight. I uh, found it at a Goodwill. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, some free comic book day, day stuff, some DC Kids, some some other stuff. You know, whatever. Merry Christmas. Have a happy New Year.